the drama against the background of colorful rooftops. Cool breeze of Alatau, which under the clouds has captured the fragrance of Tianshan spruce firs with an air of apples as run through the urban blocks. It sent the ditch water go with ripples and brushed the dust off the bright rose-colored rooftops. The city stretching after sleep lifted its open-work shutters, the city which one can't help falling in love with. А городом забыт до срока Не худший из его снов Заброшен к нам по воле рока На ловлю счастья и чинов An assassination attempt was made at night and he stayed alive by the skin of his teeth. He'd given so much love and loyalty to this city, but was forced to abandon it, misunderstood and disappointed. Chapter 1. The Frenchman Pavel Vasilievich in bad weather, only one who truly loves the city will descry the alpine beauty. A small street in the center of Almaty with a rich onomastic biography at different times used to be called Narinske, Uchilishne and Krasine Street. Today it bears the name of a splendid Kazakh scientist, Chukan Valikhanov. At the beginning of the 20th century, in 1906 to be more precise, it was called differently. To reward the works, the city council renamed Uchilishne Street into Gurde. If one walks through this street northwards, across the 28 Panfilov Guardsmen Park, they will see a modern Otrar Hotel. When Paul Gurde lived in our city, his courtyard, in other words, his house, to there. He devoted 40 years to serve with full loyalty to the city of Verny, although being a graduate of the Académie de Dijon and the Imperial School of Arts, chalon sur marne with the degree of a civil designer, Paul Gourdet could have carved out a brilliant career in his native capital city. He exchanged the Seine River for the big Almaty River Bank and became famous architect Paul Gourdet. Almaty, the then Verni, became a salvation for him. Upon arriving in the Turkestan region in 1870, he went down in flames with the finances in an attempt to sweep the local textile market. However, thanks to a meeting with the Governor General Kolpakovsky, he was assigned to the Semirechinska region government as a draftsman. His name was Russianized and he became known as Pavel Vasilievich Gurde. He started to combine his career as a junior civil designer with a teaching activity. He started off by giving French lessons to the governor's children. Later on, he taught his mother tongue as well as perspective and shadow projections in the city's grammar schools. Even when in declining years, Pavel Vasilievich was a charming and handsome man. He was known for his celebrated esprit, debonair elegance and tactfulness. His wife, French woman Maria Ravizé, was also a role model of elegance and fashion for the entire city. Almost all grammar school girls went through a stage of infatuation with Gourdet and his wife. One way or another, the architect's personal charm was excellently reflected in the students' knowledge and the youth of Verny spoke perfect French. In this grammar school during breaks, in various years, Frunze, Tunishpaev, Jandosev, and their friends shared plans and secrets in a little quiet nook. An seismic concrete trench laid in the school's foundation was particularly popular. The trench had to do with Pavel Vasilievich. The fact of the matter is that he designed this building. Unfortunately, the buildings where he had started his career have not been preserved because of an 1887 10 magnitude destructive earthquake. Gourdet, by then having been the city's architect for four years, insisted on changing the landscaping rules and suggested putting wood conduits on firm stone foundation. 
этом здании, на здании пансиона, на здании Он сказал, что в детском грамме школы в Верне один нужен, чтобы создать глубокий фундамент. Он также решил сделать бэкдрафт-дампер, чтобы предоставить аэрокондиционер, чтобы предотвратить мощность, чтобы использовать стекла и струить их с синдер, чтобы убрать рады и другие, как он говорил, ужасные роденцы. и, как он говорил, против гадов. Он был дотошен. Он был метикулез и пунктилез до маленьких деталей. Эта скрупулезность, так нехарактеристика Европы, дезинфектировала многих людей против него. Более того, это влияло на его судьбу. Чапта 2. Колор экстраваганза. Он, продолжая счастье ловлю, придумал в разные цвета раскрасить городские кровли, от черепицы до креста. People used to say about Vierne that Simirechi was a bountiful land. By planting a wheel, one could grow a tarantas, handmade and cultivated horse-drawn carriages, known as tarantas in Russian, moved around peacefully in the city alongside camels and cows, and not so peacefully with donkeys. At one time, the latter had tormented people so badly that walking out in the street, especially in the evening without a club or a rod with a nail attached to its tip, was almost impossible. Funnily enough, people used to date with clubs. However, at around 5 p.m., the city life would go quiet, because everybody sipped tea with buns and ring-shaped cracknels until the fall of darkness. This was a Verne custom. City residents would lodge numerous complaints with the governor and wrote letters to him asking to put the lights in the city, at least in the main streets. The governors used to respond to this saying that respectable residents of Verne should remain at home in the evening instead of taking a stroll in the street. The first project of public lighting made by Pavel Vasilievich amounted to a tallow-based brazier. It then won the street lamp competition. We, the undersigned subscribers, were present during an experiment conducted on the lamp invented by Mr. Gourdet and found that the lamp, when lit in the street lantern, gives sufficient luminance that enables one to read a book without any difficulty ten steps away from the street lamp. The architect had simply modernized the light fittings which had long been used by the locals. We researched the traditions of Kazakh people and their way of life. He didn't treat the land condescendingly and he was eager to learn everything he came across. He did a lot to gentrify the city. The first water pipe stretching from the main ditch to Tashkenska Street, now known as Rheinbeck Avenue, was also the merit of Gourdet. He also participated in an archaeological search together with Bartold in an expedition in Almaty. He was an archaeologist, an architect, a teacher, an artist, and even a psychologist. Pavel Vasilievich thought that a set of colors should speak of the city's multiple functionalities. For instance, he used red and brown hues to highlight trademark buildings of the governor's house as well as houses of the city's leading officials in the central area of the city. Everyone knows what red color symbolizes. It is the color of the sun and life energy. As a designer, he knew the color semantics. The city had plenty of things to take pride in, such as light lilac walls of the governor's residence, pale pink vaulting of the Turkestan Cathedral, bright green roofs of public and civil edifices constituted a rainbow of streets and houses. All the places of interest were reworked in little, especially for his imperial majesty. Merchant Luchtanov served up a dish bearing different pictures of Verne. The dish was so bright and beautiful because of the colorful rooftops, and this was namely the idea of Gourdet. The city looked really well decorated thanks to his efforts. Pavel Vasilievich first of all had been in a long correspondence with the woodcutter of the imperial court. 
as they discussed the colors and the details of the future gift. As a result, they came up with the best presentation of the city, which up to then had been known only for its earthquakes and apples. Nicholas II of Russia was said to have been happy with the present. Where is this splendid ornamental panel? The panel would have helped to reconstruct the mystical and decorative pages of the city. Chapter 3. The Fatal Shot Two architects couldn't share the city. Why Pavel Vasilievich and Pavel Matveyevich had argued remains uncertain, but it all ended up with a shooting. They had crossed paths all the time as they had joined projects with Pavel Zinkov Jr. and his son Andrei. Authorship of some buildings is still considered disputable. Emel Such, for example, is Ksultan. Gurdjieff designed an orphanage, men's grammar school, a real academy, and a few administrative buildings. Imagining Almata without Zinkov's buildings is impossible. Despite all his love for architectural rattle trap, wood carving, and coffered iron, he had some honest and distinct unity of detail, something that made his work resemble a Christmas tree embellished from top to toe. For almost a century, Verne remained under the sign of one name and had a carven, ornamented and triumphant fashion, which is now referred to as the Zenkov style. Paul Gourdet also had a hand in this cause, but he's remembered far rarer and mainly as the author of Verne's first coat of arms. His style was about bombastic curtain rods and architraves. One of examples of his art was a building now known as the House of Military Assembly. But only a handful of things have been preserved to this day. It's designed in the Ropid style as a tower chamber. In principle, Gourdet employed the same architectural patterns. Gourdet might have started off from a governor's residence. He didn't want to put up a detached house because he didn't have enough construction materials and the time frame was very tight. But he had to get down to work as Pavel Zinkov was elected as the city's mayor. When accepting the design, Gourdet drew up a report on a rent in the wall. This is how the relations ultimately burst to the seams. The cathedral church built by Zinkov Jr. was also a stumbling block. The steadfast Gourdet refused to be overseen by the planning committee and the two parties took the liberty to trade insults in public. He seemed to be a very wise person, but he also participated in these petty intrigues. Verbal duel in newspapers, court protocols and official reports had continued for several years. Gourdet intentionally scratched his tones of the governor's house foundations in Kofut say. Gourdet would reply that his projects were negated on purpose. On one November night in 1906, an assassination attempt was made on him. It wasn't a random shooting. Someone shot to target his bedroom and the shot was directed at his bed. So everything was just not a mere coincidence. Gourdet grew suspicious of Zinkov, among others, but didn't make an official accusation, as the shots could have also been made by grammar school students. Pavel Vasilievich was said to have demanded strict adherence to rules and didn't allow mental ferment in the classroom. However, who had been shooting grew unimportant to Gourdet. He was more insulted and upset than scared, Four years later, he left his favorite colorful city, and in 1914, he passed away in St. Petersburg. In the pre-dawn and obscure hours, the picture cannot be readily discerned, just these two vivid spots in the old center, so different and yet so similar, inseparably linked with each other, and disassociable from the city. On board, Architector, строил верный, и 
герб придумал для него.